Hello, today's video we have the following content. The Storm Chaser is a hit. I escaped Wang Yibo, but was surprised by the second male lead Wang Yang. CCTV spy drama Storm Chaser is set in the financial industry and presents a unique spy story. The male lead Wang Yibo and the second male lead Wang Yang both gave outstanding performances, especially the role of Shen Tun and played by Wang Yang is deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. Scenes such as the duel over the tariff custody proposal in the plot are shocking, and the relationship between master and apprentice is also highly anticipated. CCTV spy drama Storm Chaser is currently airing on the popular screen. Frankly speaking, after watching many spy TV series, the movie Storm Chaser is undoubtedly the most innovative and visually attractive one. The reason for this is actually quite straightforward, that is, this espionage TV series adopts a very original angle of entry. It turns out that this series is a spy show brought from the financial industry. The background of the story is set on the streets of Shanghai during the Republic of China, and the main content is still spy combat. But this entry point starts with the Kuomintang Central Bank as a reference background. Within the institution of the Central Bank, competition and disputes are like turbulent waves, with hidden conspiracies and undercurrents. This storyline is really creative and very different. But honestly, Storm Chaser has a very unique theme and a very rich and in-depth plot. The acting ability of the actors in the play is indeed outstanding, which is the core factor. I won't go into detail about the male protagonist Wang Yibo. He undoubtedly gave everyone the most outstanding performance in history this time. In the process of shaping the role of the male protagonist Wei Rule, he gradually transformed from a lack of confidence at the beginning to a skilled operation in the central bank, and his performance was quite outstanding. The role of Wei Rule played by Wang Yibo is undoubtedly shocking, but the part that really touches people's hearts is undoubtedly the speech he gave on the scene, which was cheered by people. It was obvious that no message was written on the letter in his hand, only a blank piece of paper. However, he held the letter in his hand and started a long discussion with the people below. The series of speeches that time were truly breathtaking and indeed the highlight of this work. However, after watching 12 episodes of Storm Chaser, I personally feel that the second male lead in the show, Wang Yang, is the most outstanding and the most impressive. Of course, I have some natural filtering effect on Wang Yang. The first time I watched Wang Yang's role as Tang Zijing in celebrating more than years, I was deeply attracted by it. After that, I watched many TV series starring him, such as Rebel, The World in Ming Dynasty Under the Microscope. I have a special liking for Wang Yang's acting talent, so much so that I can't restrain my preference. Wang Yang can express that no matter what kind of plot it is, whether it is the protagonist or the supporting role, there should be no mistakes. Every time he appears, he exudes that special flavor. Once on stage, the experience is immediately apparent. After appreciating Wang Yang's acting skills in the Storm Chaser this time, I deeply feel that he has reached the peak of his acting skills. And in the movie Storm Chaser, those scenes touched my heart the most. One dramatic event certainly involved the showdown over the tariff custody proposal. In this grand dramatic performance, the speech of Wei Rule, played by Wang Yibo, will undoubtedly become the center of attention of the audience and become the most important one. Although there are only a few small details, Shen Tun and played by Wang Yang successfully attracted Wei Rulei's attention and took away his original limelight. When he clearly realized that Mr. Yu had arranged for a killer to follow him. Still he climbed into the car without hesitation. Even when faced with desperate situations or desperation. He could still maintain his composure. His final counterattack was nothing short of shocking and explosive. When cornered by the murderer, he shot himself without hesitation and then ran to nearby residents' homes to find members of the investigation team and ask them to take action. This is not the end of everything. It is obvious that Mr. Yu is a master of layout. In the end, this chess piece became part of Shen Tunan's control. Shen Tunan not only lent him a chance, but also allowed him to fight back. The most fascinating part was that he finally appeared at the meeting with a gun on his shoulder and watched everyone's voting behavior in the passing of the proposal. His ambition and his plans were now evident. Everyone had mistaken him for a victim and deeply sympathized with him for his assassination, but few realized that he was actually a real participant in the chess game. Wang Yang's superb performance and such shocking plot twists are undoubtedly breathtaking. This detail is just a small aspect of Wang Yang's performance in this drama. What Wang Yang can truly demonstrate is artistic talent and acting ability and this play is undoubtedly his deep understanding and grasp of this role. What kind of identity does the character Shen Tunan represent? 
This financial industry elite who returned from overseas is also an idealistic person. His goal is to use his financial expertise to save thousands of people and is committed to improving the current backwardness and underdevelopment of Chinese society. Although he is an idealistic person, looking at his behavior and performance at the same time, he is also a pragmatic person who pays attention to practical matters. His decisive behavior in the stock market is a testament to his outstanding talent. Although this character seems particularly energetic, what really shocks people is Shen Tunan's performance when he shows off his strength. One unforgettable scene is when Captain Lin of the detective team discovers that there is something wrong with his gunshot wound and feels that the killer is not a suitable opponent. Captain Lin went directly to Shen Tunan's hospital bed to look for him. How does Shen Tunan, played by Wang Yang, deal with various situations? He showed his domineering and powerful strength to Captain Lin, and warned Captain Lin that he had crossed the line. Things still go on, but the most impressive moment is when, after his previous warning, he once again promises Captain Lin goodwill for the sake of profit. There is a domineering quality in the threats, and the means to induce them to think rationally are wise. From this combination of roles, we can see that Shen Tunan's role is already quite perfect. If you want to evaluate whether the characters in this drama have reached the standard of being completely perfect, Shen Tunan played by Wang Yang is an absolute character. He possesses idealistic firmness, pragmatic determination and a perfectionist strategy. This kind of character setting can only be perfectly interpreted by Wang Yang. There is no doubt that the master-disciple relationship between Wang Yang and Wang Yibo has obviously made considerable progress. Two people with the same ideals move forward hand-in-hand hand for a common vision, challenge together, and break through obstacles together. When Wei Rulei, a seemingly dull young man, gets into trouble, the master Shen Tunin is able to take action quickly, which makes people marvel at him. Indeed, Wang Yang did win Wang Yibo's attention in some aspects this time, but his performance in the drama did make Wang Yibo successful. I don't know what your views are on the characters in this drama, but I hope to have in-depth exchanges with you, especially about the acting talent of Wang Yang and Wang Yibo. I look forward to sharing your feelings with you.